I designed this lantern in Fusion 360 and 3D printed it on my new FDM printer and it turned out really cool. So here I am showing you how to uh, put this piece together into this little cute lantern for the dollhouse. When I glued all the parts together, I'm carefully placing it uh, on the mat here and making sure that it is 100% straight. Uh, and even though that I did that, they did not all turn out really straight. I found some acetate and I am cutting out a piece of acetate in the size that you just saw on the screen. and. Um, I score the acetate where I have uh, these bends here, so I'm just going to score that and then I am going to bend it into the shape that fits around the lantern and I'm going to place that to the side until I'm ready to glue it on. Now I'm going to try to make candles in the way that Ara are uh, doing, Ara from Bentley House Miniature. And I found these crayons in the store for um, very cheap. So I took that with me home and here I'm just unwrapping the uh, crayon and cutting them into the length that I want them to. Um, and I should have made them a tiny bit smaller in the length, but oh well, we're going to work with this. One of the pieces didn't want to stand straight, so I just took a piece of paper and draw it on it until it was smooth and a uh, nice flat on the end. Then I took a matchstick. I have these long matchsticks and I'm just melting the um, extra piece of this crayon over the standing crayon. If you want to see the whole how-to, you can find it on Ara's video. I will link that in the info box below. I wanted a wick in my candles, so I took this little piece of black sewing thread that I glued uh, just with uh, a tiny dot of glue between my fingers and then down the sewing thread so it's getting uh, kind of stiff and I'm just cutting pieces of that and putting into the melted crayon I'm going to use my uh, hot glue gun to melt this top part and then just place um, the little piece of sewing thread in there I'm using my super glue gel to glue these candles into the lantern. I tried with hot glue and that did not work for me, so I'm just using my super glue gel. Then I am taking the acetate and I am putting that around the lantern and gluing first one side of it to the frame and then the other side to the frame. And that's all there is for this little lantern. I will put a link for my STL file in the info box below so you can find it and print it yourself if you have a 3D printer or your friend of yours have one. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have a very nice day and I will see you next Wednesday. So thank you for watching and happy crafting.